Hey, how you doing? Damon Gillette here. Uh, one of the coaches at Tennis Evolution wanted to bring you another doubles lesson. Um, let me ask you a question. How often or how comfortable are you with switching formations? Um, we all play pretty standard. Um, that's pretty typical, but being able to make the transition into an Aussie formation or I formation can really, really help you and your team hold serve. And so that's what our topic is going to be on uh, today is the Aussie formation. Now, in Aussie formation, server lines up more as if they were playing singles, more towards the center. And notice where her partner is, right there at the net on the same side. Why is she standing there? I know you probably know the answer but she's there taking away the cross-court return. The majority of the returns are gonna go cross-court. So this switching up formations is very, very good to do when you're playing against a return team that is hot. They're just, they're making all their returns, they're, they're in a rhythm. Switch up the, the, the formation on them, go into an Aussie formation, and it's amazing how much that can rattle the other team. So with that being said, you take away the cross-court return. Our net person is just a little, a little shorter up there. Um, Full-on reach does a great job to be able to get that back. And then our, ser our, our server makes her way in. Aggressive play. Very nicely done on that. So once again, now we're serving into the ad side um, in the Aussie formation. A lot of times this is might even be a better play for some of you um, because our server is a righty. So when you end up making that serve, she has to cut all the way across to cover her forehand side. Sometimes it could be more difficult for a server to move to the left if they're a righty to cover the backhand side. So typically, if you're gonna get started on this, try doing it on the ad side first. It also has the, the, the net person, their volley, once again, based on a righty, their volley is uh, a forehand in the middle as well, which typically most players are comfortable doing. Um, there, so once again, line up on the same side, and if you take a look at that there, when you end up switching your formation, once again, it makes the return team feel like they have to do more with the return than what it is that they have to. A lot of times you can get errors out of the return team just by switching up your formation, so make sure to try that. Um, so here, very good serve, backhand down the line return, very tough play for a lot of us to be able to do. Um, and just like that, just by getting the serve in, switching up the formation, easy point. Easy point right there. And it's amazing how much you can disrupt rhythm when you switch up your formation. So very nicely done. So on this one here, um, our net person actually gave a signal to poach. I didn't get that in there. I apologize. And actually, I apologize that the our, our uh, camera is a little backlit here. So I do apologize about that. Um, but here, we're going to get a little bit more advanced. Okay. Aussie formation, very good to switch it up. Next level Aussie formation is given the signals um, whether you're poaching or staying. So this one was the poach. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't end up getting that in there. But when you end up poaching, notice... Our net person went left to cover the line, okay? Our server went to the right. So that's very, very key on when you end up switching up uh, uh, or doing signals on this, server has to know and has to communicate, yes, I see the signal, give them a yes, yep, got it, whatever it ends up being, but to communicate that. Um, because you, you, you'll you learn the hard way fast if you don't, if both players move to the same side. So very good move here just didn't end up executing that volley as well as what she probably would have wanted. So I love uh, the aggression with signals um, in Aussie formation. Here you can see that she's given the signal to stay. Um, a lot of times just putting your hand behind your back, even if you're staying every time, that just that that's another wrench you can throw into the return team. So once again, uh, Aussie formation, lining up on the same side, and let's see what happens here. Good serve. There's that. Now that is a very, very good return down the line. Really for, for, forces our server to have to get out there, make a forehand. She does a great job. The opposing net person just didn't do a great job of executing that high ball. So that's a very strong one uh, serve plus one as a service team. And that's exactly what we want to be able to do. And so once again, when you end up doing this, it's all about switching up the formation. You switch up the formation, 
it throws the the, the opposing uh, or I'm sorry the return team off creating a lot better uh, chances for you to hold serve now I wouldn't recommend starting out doing this okay I would recommend doing this if nothing else is working it doesn't hurt why go down in flames switch something up try it out and you'll be surprised on how many free points you end up getting and how it can disrupt the returners uh, uh, rhythm so um, guys thank you so much for watching this video and for tuning in um, we want to help you out as, as much as we possibly can and so um, we really appreciate you tuning in and, and I hope this lesson was of good value for you um, be sure to turn on your uh, notifications uh, subscribe to the channel this way when new content does come out you'll be the first to end up getting it um, and also at the same time uh, we want to give you a free gift and we want to give you the three biggest mistakes that teams are making all over the world and we want to be able to give that to you so please end up clicking the link in the description below or somewhere in this video and uh, you'll end up getting that so thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video we'll see you next time